Welcome back to the series where we change the element of characters from Genshin Impact. The way it works is we have two wheels, one with all the characters and one with all the elements. We spin the first wheel, get a character, spin the second wheel, get an element, then combine those two together and see what it looks like. Let's get started. This is wheel. This is me spinning wheel. This is me waiting for the wheel to stop. I, I really don't know what to say during this part anymore. And first we have Ning Wong. Now maybe it's just because doing Hydro is kind of easy, but it's also because I just like working with very vibrant blue, so I'm hoping for Hydro, but once again, we're going to be starting out with Electro. Let's talk a little bit about the colors I chose for Electro Ning Wang. Obviously, I could use a lot of purple since that is the color that is most representative of Electro within Genshin Impact. And I did at first plan to just use all purples and I tried it and it looks fine, but I felt like I wasn't really challenging myself to go with a the color theme and it just, I don't know, it just it didn't feel great. As you can see, I incorporated a lot of the color red, and now let me explain why I did this. Within Chinese culture, which Li Wei is based on, the color red is often used to represent good fortune and success, and I would say Ning Wang is a pretty successful woman. Also, during the Chinese New Year, people exchange envelopes with one another, containing money as a gift, and these envelopes are most often red in color. Now, of course, that explains the color red, but it doesn't really relate to Electro at all, right? Within nature, there's a phenomenon known as red lightning. Now, this lightning isn't all that uncommon, but it's very rare to ever see it from the ground because it occurs so high up in the clouds. I related this to Ning Wang because in her jade chamber, she was always up in the clouds or even above the clouds and people very rarely, if ever, saw her. Obviously the red lightning relates to the electro aspect and then the red color relates to success and to a degree wealth through those red envelopes or I guess just money, not really wealth, but that's why I chose the red color to use in this design. Now on to the next character. I bet you didn't see this one coming, I'm gonna spin the wheel again, you definitely saw it coming, it's the whole premise of the video, but let's hope for a good character here, and it's going to be Ayaka. Alright, that could be fun. What element are we going to be making Ayaka today? I say that as if I change her element on a daily basis, which I definitely don't, but today it is going to be Animo. Alright, we haven't done too much of that yet, so I'm fine with it.
All right, so this one's gonna take a bit of an explanation. I don't even know if I really have that much of an explanation here, but I'll try. Upon looking at this character, the silhouette, at least in this artwork, really reminded me of an evergreen tree since my mind was on, you know, animo, wind blowing. And I know that Dendro is more of plants, but for now, animo is kind of that planty theme, I guess you could say. So, I mean, at least it's wind and, you know, trees and leaves blow in the wind. As we can see, I went with the typical teal colors to represent Animo here, but again, I wanted to tie in another color, and I guess these are the two designs that I took the most liberties with choosing another color to incorporate. For Ayaka, I also chose red, but for different reasons. Within Japanese culture, the color red is used to represent peace and prosperity, and many of these shrines and temples take on this color. Ayaka is the eldest daughter of a very respected clan within Genshin impact in the Inazuma region, which is based on Japan. So while it's a little bit of a stretch to use red here, another reason I wanted to use it is because I was thinking of evergreen trees, and I'll be honest here, when I think of evergreen trees, I think of Christmas time or holidays, and that's usually red, green, and white as the color theme, so you can probably see where I got that from here. Now additionally, if we're thinking of, say, a Christmas tree or an evergreen tree, a lot of people, when they decorate them, tend to put a star on the top which is normally yellow in color and as we can see her hair is a blonde color here kind of representing that so I guess you could say I made a holiday skin for Ayaka and it might not be the best but I mean I kind of like it let me know if you guys like it when I take this many liberties with the additional colors I incorporate or if you think I should just strictly try and stick to the colors that represent the given element Either way, I hope that you guys did at least enjoy the video, and if so, just feel free to hit the little subscribe button, it helps me out a ton, and it helps us reach more people so they can enjoy these videos too. With that being said, I will see you all next time.